Good morning, it's James. It is so good to see you today. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and the blessing of laying eyes on you. And I do hope and pray that this message finds you and all the people that you love peaceful, thriving, and very, very well. So today we are going to commit with all of our being to living longer and stronger. If there's one thing I love about you and I absolutely cherish about this community is that the more vital we are, the more empowered we are, the more inspired we are, the more that we are benefiting all the people around us. And I think right now we would all agree the world needs more highly loving, highly giving, highly spiritually awakened people to do the good work, which is to outlove a lot of the dark things that are happening right now. And so with that in mind, <laughs> it's, kind of a, it's kind of a tough introduction, but what I just want to say to you, I want you all to take good care of yourself. We need you. We need you strong. We need you vital. We need you feeling your very, very best. And part of that is focusing on the health and length and strength of our telomeres. You probably know about telomeres, the little end caps that sit on the end of our DNA. And the more that they are longer and stronger, the more our DNA doesn't get whacked and shrinked and over eventually just kind of falling apart, if you will, and not being able to replicate and stay strong. So the more our telomeres are stronger, our DNA can stay intact and stay stronger and keep us living in such a beautiful, vital way. So we need to do all we can to keep the length and strength of our telomeres wonderfully strong. And how do we do that? There's so many wonderful things that we can do. In fact, I want to share a study with you because a lot of us sometimes, um, and this is easy for me to do, given I have a family history of a lot of stuff from cancer, heart disease, alcoholism, mental health issues. I, I got a lot of stuff in my family and it's easy sometimes, not easy, but necessarily our default can make us go, well, you know, my genes are not awesome, so uh, I'll just do the best that I can. Or guess what? What if my genes weren't the biggest part of the story? And in fact, it was my style of life. My lifestyle was more impactful than my genetic history. And that's how it is. In fact, 75% or more, and a lot of scientists say it's even maybe 80, 85, north of 85% of how our genes express themselves and the longevity we get and the health and well-being we get over our lifetime is more connected to our quality of life and the style of life we had versus our genetics. So let us keep that hopeful statistic in mind. And how do we actually help telomeres, which they love a thing called telomerase. Telomerase is an enzyme that feeds the strength and length of our telomeres. And the more telomerase we are producing, the greater the strength and length of our telomeres. And a lot of things have been done around this from, okay, a healthy diet, anti-inflammatory, Mediterranean-based diet, uh, the right kind of exercise, um, doing the kinds of things that every single day help us to manage our stress, being a person who's out in the world doing good things. All of that helps strengthen our telomeres and produce more telomerase, which gives you the longevity and the health and well-being. And recently, I love this because, um, yeah, I think sometimes we go, well, of course, exercise. Of course, there's going to be benefits with eating clean and healthy and those kinds of things. But guess what also has a tremendous impact? You're going to love this. It's our disposition, the kind of way we go out in the world and what we do with our energy. In fact, being loving, being kind, being optimistic, compassionate, present, and someone who delivers hope through their actions of being kind, optimistic, and compassionate literally also produces more telomerase. That is absolutely, to me, I, I love that because it's, it's really beautiful, right? When you think about the mind and the body and the spiritual applications of the, the deeper work of what we do. Why do we eat well? Why do we move our body well? Hopefully to augment our physiology, hopefully to give us our psychology of hope and empowerment, inspiration. And the more that we are spreading that into the world, the greater our chances of living long and strong will be. And a beautiful side effect, we're gonna be happier, we're gonna be more empowered, we're gonna be more inspiring, while we're here doing all those things. It's a win, it's a win, and it's a win all across the board. So just please take this to heart and think about what you could be doing in relationship to your lifestyle, the way in which you are moving out in the world, and what it is that you are cultivating and circulating each and every day because your telomeres are listening and the world around you is watching. And your beauty 
your empowerment, your commitments are contagious. They are absolutely contagious. So live in love out loud. I'll see you soon. I appreciate you. Much love. All blessings. Bye for now.